Five to seven minutes, that's all it took for a group of six to nine burglars to clean out this clothing store. Yeah, they took everything that mattered. Nat Packard, one of the owners of Bad Timing, says that these knew exactly what they were looking for and went straight for the money items. I was definitely organized, they knew what they are doing. He says these now empty racks contained all their designer vintage streetwear. I mean, you're talking like nothing under $200 and it was packed. So 200 plus, anywhere from like 200 to, you know, $1,000 shirt. You can also see the mass burglars walking out with shoe boxes. Packer says what they didn't realize, there was just one shoe in each box. The mates on display out front. Still, it's another loss for the store. So we're stuck with like 50 pairs of one shoe. Bad timing buys, sells, and trades clothing. Packard says they also buy lots of their one-of-a-kind t-shirts and streetwear at thrift stores, and their inventory is nearly impossible to replace. They'll, they'll try to sell it any way they can. He says it's likely these guys will try to sell the clothing online, but isn't holding out hope of getting much of it back. He says this is a huge setback for his business. Yeah, I mean, we were busy. We've re been building everything for this season. So, you know, all the stuff we had on these racks was, you know, with anticipation to sell this month. Now, the store owners tell us that there is video that shows the items being loaded into three vehicles that were parked in front of the store. We can see that there are some real-time cameras, two of them, on both sides of the street here, but so far, police have not released any footage. Store owners tell us that their insurance will not cover the cost of all of their loss, so they have set up a GoFundMe account. For a link, just click on WREG.com and go to the story. If you have any information about this burglary that can help police, call Crime Stoppers. That number is 9 zero one five two eight cash live this morning live this evening in the University of Memphis area Melissa Moon WREG news channel 3